two positive real numbers, a and b, have a sum of 5. In part a, we'll use the table to generate data for a and b. The first numbers we'll try are 0 for a and 5 for b. They have a sum of 5. We could also use a equals 1 and b equals 4 to get a sum of 5. a equals 2 and b equals 3 has a sum of 5 as well. a equals 3 and b equals 2 works. As does a equals 4 and b equals 1. Finally, we could have a equals 5 and b equals 0. In part b, we'll write an equation that relates the variables and we'll state the dependent and independent variables. The equation is a plus b equals 5. Neither variable has any special significance, so there is no dependent or independent variable. In part c, we'll graph the relation in two ways. There is no dependent or independent variable, so we can graph this as b equals minus a plus 5, or a equals minus b plus 5. Let's graph b equals minus a plus 5 first. We'll label the x-axis a, we'll label the y-axis b. Now plot the b-intercept. Use the slope of minus 1 to draw in the line. We can use a solid line for this relation since a and b are real numbers. Next we'll graph a equals minus b plus 5. Swap the axis labels and replot the points. Both graphs are considered correct since they include all of the data points from the table in part A.